Hey everybody, I'm Josh Jackson, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the updated version of the NextGen Gallery plugin. When I first created my How to Create a Custom Website video with WordPress and walked you through how to use the NextGen Gallery plugin, uh, some things were a little bit different than they are today. So if you're using the plugin today, you'll need to know a few different things to make that work properly. So the first thing we're going to do, and I'm actually using the same website that I used originally, to, to do that video. So I'm in the back end of my site and to log into the back end of course go to your domain name forward slash WP dash admin and log in with your credentials. And then I'm going to go to plugins, add new. And I'm going to search for next gen one word and then gallery. So click on search plugins. And then this top one here next gen gallery we're going to click on install now and say OK. Then we're going to activate the plugin. Okay, and now that we have the plugin activated, you'll see here we have this new gallery tab here with the green icon to the left there. You're going to hover over that, that tab and then click on Add Gallery slash Images. And we're going to keep this at Create a New Gallery and we're going to call this our new gallery and then after you give it a title title you're gonna click on add files and then I'm gonna add all of the files that I used in the original video that I created with Pixlr so refer to the original video if you need to and I'll have a link to that video in the description so I'm gonna click on open and then I'm gonna click on start upload and it's gonna upload those those files one at a time and it's also gonna generate thumbnails for me automatically which is a really great feature Okay, now that I've got those images uploaded to that gallery, I am going to go to Manage Galleries underneath the Gallery tab. Click on that. And then you'll see we have our new gallery created. And it's giving it an ID of 3, but if you're doing this for the first time, you'll probably have uh, an ID of 1, but that doesn't matter. So click on the gallery that you just created. And I just want to show you here, we have some information if you wanted to put in this uh, descriptive text here you could do that and also if we wanted to rearrange these images we could click on sort gallery here and then we could just drag and drop them into place and then of course you would want to update the sort order if you chose to do that but I'm just gonna leave it as is now to add this gallery to our gallery page that I've already created I'm gonna go to pages all pages and I'm going to click on gallery and this is just a blank page currently and then what I'm going to do is in the visual editor make sure you're in the visual editor here you'll notice this icon is now appearing and this when you hover over it it says next gen gallery attached to post so you're going to hover over that click on that icon and that's going to pull up the next gen gallery page then the first thing you do is select the display type and we're going to use the next gen basic thumbnails selection now you could experiment with all these different types they're pretty cool and uh, they're really easy to work with but we're just going to leave that at the default and then click on this what would you like to display and we want it to be a gallery and then right here where it says gallery select a gallery click on that and it's going to open up a list of all the galleries that you've created and since we only have the one gallery created that's the only one showing up so click on our new gallery and here customize the display settings you can click on that we're gonna leave this at the default um, if we wanted to override the thumbnail settings we could select yes and we could change the size for example the size of the thumbnails and I'll show you why you might want to do that here in just a moment we're gonna leave that at the default and we're just gonna click on save and that's gonna put in our gallery there and then we need to update the page and now if we open up our website in a new tab by clicking here I'm just gonna right click or control click if you're using a Mac and select open link in new tab that's gonna open the front end of my site and then if I go to the gallery page give that a second to load you'll see that we have all of our thumbnails there and you could click on any one of these thumbnails and it's gonna open up this light box here and you can use these arrows 
to look at the different images within the gallery. And then of course, just click on the X to exit out. Now let's go back to that uh, gallery page editor and click on the gallery icon or the gallery image thumbnail there to open up the gallery options again. And if we wanted this, if we wanted to customize the display settings and we wanted to override the thumbnail settings, we could say yes and resize these and make the thumbnails bigger like this. Of course, I want to change my height too, so I'm going to go back and customize the display settings and then I want to change this to, let's just say 150. And save. And then update the page. We're going to go back to the gallery and refresh the gallery page. Now my thumbnails are going to be much larger. Just like that. I can of course still click on those and do the same thing.